finally back to working on the building. Dad's on that end of the gutter and I'm on this end. And we're taking out the bottom two rows of screws. We're gonna see if that'll give us enough room. We may have to go up and take a few more out. I don't know. But uh, the problem is, <clears throat> it'd be nice if these screws were what was holding the gutter on. But there's actually a lip that goes up in here and this is nailed down underneath the metal and then they put the metal on top of it went ahead and took another two rows of screws out so actually half of the screws of the entire roof are out so we can get enough flex to get up underneath there to take the gutter off this is why i dreaded this job but there's the wall we got the gutter down finally there it is laying over here I'm going to climb up on top of the roof, get all the screws back in. I'm going to catch you guys up here. I'm getting ready to put up the first 2 by 12 header. I already cut this with the length, 10 foot. They're about 10 and 3 quarters, 10 and a half. So we're going to take these, and I'm using structural screws, GRK, fasteners, rugged structural screws. They're 5 sixteenths, 3 and an eighth inch long. I'm going to put three of these on each end. Uh, I don't even know how good you guys can hear me with this wind blowing losing light here but uh real quick what i did was i cut my metal basically two um two post widths so 20 feet these are 10, 10 foot spacing and what i did was measure down how much i wanted to cut and the reason i went two is because it's a 20 foot two by four up here at the top so rather than having to cut it i just went to the to the where it ended cut that off and then the two by four that was up here that the, the roof was was screwed to i took it off and i moved it down to right here and then i'm going to take that two by 12 and it's going to set right on top of this board and so what that's going to do is basically i'm going to be using my whole two by 12 to put my two by eight rafters and then i'm going to have a two by four running along the bottom and i have all my brackets of course too but that space there is going to take up the entire two by 12. So then I, I just moved this 2x4 down to have space to attach the metal to. Here's what it looks like on the inside. Cade's out here doing a, a firewood pile obstacle course. How you making it, Cade? You're doing good. It's the day after we started. Obviously it got dark last night, so let's get you a little bit better view here. I'm actually getting ready to start again. Um, it's about four o'clock, calling for rain tonight, and then I don't know exactly what days, but rain or ice or snow almost the rest of the week. So while it's nice and warm, it's almost 60 degrees right now. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the next 20 foot section. Dad is actually on his way to help me. So I want to get this up, get it to this point over here before it gets too dark. Uh, I, have to, I have to finish it up. If I actually start cutting on that, I cannot leave that open because they're talking about flash i mean it's gonna be hard rains it's bad enough having it open like this which is not really open open but you can get some moisture in there but it is what it is it's gonna to have to be that way i've decided that i'm not waiting for the weather because in southern illinois the weather does not cooperate most of the time so we're just gonna do it we're gonna work through it and it'll be what it is
Morning, guys. Good. So, this morning it's 22 degrees out. And yesterday it was 60. So, cold front came through. Got some rain. We got about a half inch of rain. I'm gonna stoke this fire with some wood and take you around back and show you what we did. Uh, the last thing you saw, I think, was a time lapse of us doing the next 20 foot feet on this thing. So we got all the metal cut down to the fourth post, got the headers up, and then I went ahead and took the pieces that we cut, dropped them down a little bit so they overlap, and screwed the, that stuff back up there since we're getting ready, since we're having some weather, you know? And uh, it seems really dry inside there. Uh, that's at least keeping it from going down the ribs of the metal, getting the two by eight or two by 12 really wet, which it's really not gonna hurt it to be wet, you know, for a few days before we get it covered up. But that's where we are. So uh, I did 40 feet. So from that end to right here is 40 feet. And then I've got another 20 feet to do right here. That's 20 feet. And then I'm still gonna have to cut this metal over here because I'm actually gonna have to come lower than what I initially thought I would. Um, and then I'd like to move that two by 12 down an inch and a half like I have on all these others, but it's nailed in there with really long ring shank nails and it was really hard to drive them in and I don't think I'm gonna pull it out. So what I'm probably gonna do is probably put a two by six butted right up underneath that instead of the two by four so I can make sure I get down low enough. Um, two by four may work, I don't know. But either way, that next board is actually gonna have to take a little bit of the, whatever you wanna call it, ledger board or whatever that I'm gonna be setting the rafters on. So I want it to be fairly strong. Then on the back side, I think I'm gonna drop the two by 12 down on the inside to and tie the two by six and the two by 12 together to make it more rigid. So anyways, long story short, I have 20 feet to go to put my outer headers on. That header's already there, obviously, but I have to cut the entire 32 feet that's left. Good chilly morning, guys. I'm just out here kind of looking at how our building fared in the ice and sleet, freezing rain. It's, it's all ice, but uh, I, I had no visible leaks inside there, which is great. I don't know if it'll show up in the camera, but basically every tree has is covered in ice. You can see little ice sickles hanging from everything. This is all 100% covered in ice. All the boards. You see all these little ice sickles here. The trees all have those same icicles on them. You can see this little tree is has that much ice. I don't know. All right, guys. So, <clears throat> didn't get any footage of it, but last night I actually put up one of the two by twelves inside. I don't know how well you can see that. Can't even really tell it from here, but. Um, what I did, you see this board here, I took a two by six, notched it out, so it would, uh, basically it's holding up the two by four, and since the two by 12 is above that, it's holding that up as well. And then the top piece of it's going up right up to this inner two by 12 here. And so that's gonna help support it, the load that's carrying this way, and then we're, gonna, we're, we're putting, uh, where we screw in our brackets on the outside of the building, that'll laminate these two 2x12s two together with good 5 16 structural screws. got our 2x12s up 
Here, let me put this other one up. I got my two boards here up. Let's get it up there. All right, guys, we're gonna get ready to cut some metal. Kate's helped me here a little bit. Arch Cade. All right, let's get that board back there. Use that to, to yeah. Look at this boy. You're a hard working man, aren't you? Yeah. I'm not getting a whole lot done this evening, but I'm getting something done. And I love this right here. Spending time with him, but not just spending time doing nothing. We're we're doing something. Someday when he's old enough to realize it. He can look back and we'll know that he helped me build this addition onto the barn and that'll be something. We're getting ready to mark and cut our metal. We're going to go at least down to the new part. If I can get to there, I mean, I've only got like half an hour. Oh, there's Ginger. I've only got about a half hour before it really gets dark and start already losing light a little bit. But so I may only get the metal cut. That's the case, that's the case. But uh, we got about a week of really good weather here, so looking to capitalize. All right, Cade, you ready? <laughs> we're losing light I did get all the metal cut on the to the end of the existing building and then of course I've got the addition that I did last year to cut let, left to cut and I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this metal down and see if I can get that 2x4 off and maybe I can get it located and be ready to put my 2x12s up tomorrow or something uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to focus on this right here instead of cutting on down the rest of it uh, so Probably won't get much footage from here on because I'm losing light, obviously. So uh, I'll bring you back to, um, probably tomorrow and hopefully we'll be able to finish up the headers on this thing and we'll start laying out for our rafters. All right guys, so it's the next day. We are putting up my uh, two by four runner that's gonna go underneath the rafters. This is what the rafters will actually set on. This won't be carrying the majority of the weight, but it'll help. And we're, we've got all where our rafters are gonna go marked and I'm putting a large structural screw directly underneath where each rafter is gonna sit. Yeah. measuring how far we are from the end of that two by four and then we'll lay off that nut much more just laying out so I can put a screw under each rafter so we've done from the end to here will be 40 feet so that next one will get us actually past the 50 foot mark and we'll, we'll have to do one more and maybe another one we'll see depending on how long one we use there I'll catch you guys on the next one thank you so much for watching God bless you. God bless America. Franklin County Forge out.